Hey everybody, thanks for joining me at my Lost Begotten channel. You know, my only channel I have, but I don't really know what else to say. Anyways, moving on. So, the rose bubble is doing well. But, see this guy here? This was kind of halfway falling off the rock. I've, I've seen this. This has been in Rick's tank, and it's kind of like the ever-shrinking ever weird little white anemone. And after reading a horror story on Wet Web Media, Clownfish Photobomb, um, that basically an anemone lost its tentacles and shrunk over a very long time period, I'm thinking this little tiny thing right here might actually be this thing's sibling. I think this might actually be a bleached and tentacleless ro oh shit. Apparently it has not approved of I had to put the phone down to zoom out because as you can see I'm holding chopsticks. It has not approved of where I put it. So I'm going to try carefully get it right here oh no oh no okay I'm gonna go ahead and use my hands sorry Percula I can't let you bite that that's an anemone you can't go biting anemones that's just not very nice okay I gotta put the phone down again the freaking Percula actually managed to, to freaking bite it and spit it out one time I got it right here I'm trying to get it to attach in this little crevice right here because it really doesn't seem to like light very much shit pumps off so unless it's attaching is it attaching I think it's attaching okay good go good go good go no I have no idea why I said that just fucking oh shit nervous Alright, so I'm going to put the lights back, see if it doesn't mind that spot. See it's turning around and attaching to that rock right there. And um, I just, when it detached, I just shut my freaking pumps off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this again and I'm going to try to put just a little cloud of zooplankton right around it just to make it happy in that spot, hopefully. Um, I hope there's not too much light right there. I was trying to get it more underneath that ledge because it seems to want to hide from the light right now. And um, yeah, I, I, I think Rick had both these guys under way too much light. They don't like the light and this guy is kind of not hiding anymore. It loves this core life actinic purplish blue. Um, okay, so pausing again. What I'm feeding them is anemone. It is not anemone food. This is Kent, not Kent, uh, Sea Chem Reef Zooplankton. Um, I usually use Kent Zuplex. Um, I might try alternating between both of them. But for small anemones, what you want to do is take just just a little tiny, tiny bit of a dropper. About yay much. Okay. And then suck in a whole bunch of tank water so it evens out the temperature. Alright, and just dissolves. And just very slowly mist around the anemone don't touch its tentacles don't piss it off okay so 
I'm going to go ahead and try to do that now with this guy. <laughs> but didn't have any tentacles to not touch. What I noticed is that he was sitting over here for a little while and kind of doing okay. And he looked like he started to grow some little tiny pink tentacles. And since then, he's been on this rock over here with the clownfish kicking the shit out of him. Um, and yeah, let's see if we can do something better for him. All right, so I open the cap up. I'm going to get myself, let me zoom out a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and try something a little different this time. Let me get myself a little bit of tank water first. And I'm going to get the air out of this thing. Like so. Okay. Now I'm going to kind of wipe off the edge of that and start to suck. Get one little air bubble right before I suck that in. And keep sucking. Okay, that's why I wanted the air out of there. Because I was going to get some more air bubbles in there. And I want as much tank water to mix with this stuff as possible. Okay. Now here's what I'm going to do. Take this down here. I'm going to square very slowly. If your pumps are on, you're probably not even going to see it when you do this. Okay, I'm going to get halfway. I'm going to suck in some more water. Go ahead and feed my uh, bubble tip that's doing well, too. Oh, yeah, he likes that. Suck in some more water. I'm going to give them just a nice long time to smell it. It's going to nice and slow. Now, bear in mind, you're trying not to overload the anemone with nutrients, make them shit, make them get sick, because they are very susceptible to phosphate and, po and ammonia poisoning inside of themselves. If they have enough shit inside of them that they don't need nutritionally and it starts to decay, it's not going to do well. That's why really variety is best when it comes to anemones. Uh, small amounts, frequently, not large amounts once um, but don't let them eat nothing but freaking flake food or something like that and think you just put a bunch of flake food on there and the anemones fed let it take a little bit of flake food when it wants it but make sure you give it some other things to keep its ability to grow um, as complex as possible you want it to have as many different nutrients as possible because if it doesn't have, say, some, some nice bulky clam or mysis, you know, kind of like the starch of the, the saltwater world, it can't use all the concentrated vitamins and nutrients in your omega-1 or your, uh, what is it, the, uh, these are the two flakes I'm using right now. I have this in the Nutrifin bottle. Reading up on this, this is actually pretty good stuff. Um, I don't like to take people's ingredients from, you know, I don't like to take the package's word for it. This, um, they're healthy, you know? I mean, I can't complain much. This is, most of, most of what I've been feeding them is that, to try to let the garlic help them 
Not good. Yeah. Everybody seems to like it. And uh, whoa. Okay. Piece of cardboard fell down off the freaking okay. So I'm gonna turn off my I mean turn on my pumps now. So I got all my lights on one thing, my pumps on another. And we're gonna see if this guy floats away. It looks like he's gonna start floating away. Unfortunately, my power has to not have started. And that might be for the better. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock that guy around. And it looks like I'm okay. So well, I guess the fact that I uploaded this with the cell phone means I got hurt filmed it with a cell phone means I can upload it now so I'm really backed up on videos um, really backed up on crap to do with all this I don't even want to show you the state of things so there's, there's a yeah there's another fish tank on my couch hospital thing has Bob back in it Sly is down there confined to this corner missing her little punching bag her little abuse victim husband yeah, ever since I took him out to treat him, because he had a couple more exit wounds to show up. Um, yeah, she's been, she went from chasing around and, and, you know, keeping dominance and nipping at his fins and made him so sick I had to move him. So, oh, where's Bob? Poor me. So, yeah. All right. Everything looks well for now. I'll probably, uh, once it gets a little more established, I'll do another very, very small zooplankton treatment on it. And um, now that I got more quality foods, I'm trying to keep the flake food away from this one. Um, if I rinse my brine shrimp, which I've been better getting better about, I let him have some. But um, this guy here comes with the dropper. threw away the packaging but it's like a dropper combination syringe thing for grimes right this is some handy stuff right here um, this helps for cleaning out rocks in a nano tank like just for blowing away stuff and um, this is the best feeding tool you can have my fish if I put this in the tank they will start biting the end of this because they, they, they just know it so well and um, in case anybody is already thinking about buying a saltwater tank, please try to wait until I make um, an actual how to set up video. I'm going to make it as complete as possible for beginner reef keepers. Um, I want to encourage people to get into this hobby, but I want them to know what to expect because jumping the gun on things is the... The primary way people get dis disappointed and want to just sell everything and get out of the hobby as quickly as they got into it. Um, and basically just not knowing your limits as a hobbyist, not knowing the limits of your tank, of your setup, is just, you know, in general where people go wrong. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, everybody. And wish this little guy good luck because I think, man... It's really big for a freaking jewel anemone. And he really... I don't know, just the way it acts. I've never seen a jewel anemone act that way. It's, it's kind of almost like it acts like a bubble tip anemone. I mean, I've never seen a jewel anemone try to move around and take flight and shit. So, wish this little guy luck. Wish that little guy luck. Hey, Bob.
Thanks again for watching. Please click the like button. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Peace.